Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video we are going to talk about economic capital, economic capital. What we are going to talk about? We are going to talk about economic capital consumption in the non-traded market disposition. Uh -uh. Oh yes. So what we will break down this concept into? And uh, what is non-trade? What is market? What is the non-traded market? Is an economic capital consumption, and what this all means together? But before going there. Let's break. Let's let's discuss again what we have covered in the last video. We covered in the last video that after two thousand eight financial crisis, the interest rate globally remained quite low. I'm going to talk a little fast here, because it's just a revision. If you, if you, if it's too fast for you, there is an option on the in the in this YouTube. We can slow down to point seven five or point five also. But I'm going this. I'm just doing revision, so I won't talk in a normal pace. Though, but. Fast is my normal pace, which fast for other is my normal for me. But I'm going to talk. I'm going to be normal here. So after two thousand yeah, week, what we have covered, we we covered that after two thousand eight financial crisis, interest rate globally remained quite low. Banks found it challenging to generate profits from traditional investment like loans and bonds due to this historically low interest rate. Sorry, I can see now. Okay, bank needed to come up with some innovative ways to earn more money for themselves and their clients, so they couldn't rely on traditional investment alone to meet expectations. So what they did, what, what was the new idea? The new approach was to use short option position, and what what banks were doing? Banks sold options to client. These options were like financial bets, giving clients the right to buy or sell something in the future at a certain price. So, in return for selling these options, bank received a premium, called premium. Over time, it became clear that many clients who bought these options ended up with losing money. So, they didn't always understand the risk involved, and sometimes the option they bought become worthless also. So to address this concern and make investment products safer, a new concept emerged: the principal guarantee. Principal guarantee. This concept focused on preserving the original amount of money, the principal that client invested, and no matter what happened with the investment, they are going to get back their principal. So the idea was principal guarantee was applied in various ways to create to cater the different types of investors. For example, for institutional investors, there is PG. N principal guarantee notes and for wealth management client there is PGF principal guarantee fund and for regular individual there is PGD principal guarantee deposits so these product typically consist of two main component which is option and zero coupon bond option this was a financial con contract giving investors the right to buy right to buy or sell something in the future it was crucial part of the guarantee as it could contribute to additional returns. For what is zero coupon bond? Uh, this was a type of investment that didn't pay interest like regular bonds. Instead, it was sold at a discount and paid back at a full value when it when it matured. The value of the zero coupon bond depend on the two main factor. One is nominal yield and other is time to maturity. So how time to maturity? How long it took for the bond to reach its full value? What is nominal yield? The level of interest rates in the market. In a low yield environment, when interest rate were very less, so these bonds needed to have longer maturity periods to compensate lack of interest income. Initially, banks often took the other side to, of these option traded with their clients. However, as I realized risk involved, some banks started protecting themselves by making counter bet, which is hedging. Yet the risk associated with these products tended to accumulate, and especially at banks with the skilled uh, risk management teams. And let's talk about what is this economic capital concept. Economic capital concept. We are going to talk about economic capital consumption in non-traded market disposition. But first, what is market risk? What is economic capital? First, economic capital refers to the amount of capital that a financial institution set aside to cover unexpected losses that may arise from the various risks. For example, credit, market, operational, and more, and many more. What is market risk? Market risk refers to the financial loss due to changes in the market factors like interest rate, currency exchange rates, commodity prices, and stock prices. Financial institutions often hold positions in various financial instru instruments like stocks, bonds, derivatives, and these positions are exposed to market risk. What is non-traded market risk position? So non-traded market disposition. What is non-traded market disposition? These are those positions that refers to financial instruments or assets that are not easily bought or sold in the market. Unlikely public traded stocks or bonds, these positions might be unique or actively traded, making it harder to determine their market value. Let's take 10 seconds.
let's check 10 second pass here i am i going to just reply here some more message uh, 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 where is chantare mm, 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 mm. okay economic capital consumption economic capital consumption economic capital consumption in non trade market disposition very simple it represents the amount of economic capital that a financial institution need to set aside or allocate to cover the potential losses associated with this position this allocation is necessary because even though these positions are not actively traded they are they still carry market risk if the market factor relevant to this position were to change unfavorably then institutions could incur losses so it it becomes crucial for uh, banks to check this part also and and in this in this example we are going to just see economic capital usage by non trade market is type for db bank deutsche bundesbank deutsche bank deutsche bank the table below shows the economic capital consumed by the non trade market is by deutsche bank about during 2017 financial years while the 33% drop in economic capital from 2016 to 2000 17 may seem impressive it is largely a technical adjustment as a result of quantile change in dbu model from 99.98 to 99.90 confidence interval without access to the underlying model it is therefore difficult to say if there is a genuine reduction in economic capital for the risk group at dba if the economic capital has remained largely the same or it in fact has increased the reduction in granted funds risk ec according to db was largely driven by redesign of the economic capital model for guaranteed risk retirement accounts and the removal of the conservative placeholders the language superficially suggests that there is a connection to pension risk but it could simply mean that the previously guaranteed defined benefit pension are now fully funded and they that the counterparties have been bought out with a lump sum so tada this way we have covered this completed this chapter i hope you have you like this chapter and this is the simplest chapter so far and if you really like this chapter then let me know in the comment box take care bye bye